Nada and I are out looking for some food for dinner here in Aberdeen and we found this great pub. You can see it's got the in there, lunch and dinner and welcome under new management. Absolutely fabulous. I'm sure they've got some great stories, but uh, guess what? They're shut. Apparently the pizza shop shop is also shut. The commercial hotel is shut. The um, bolo shut. So luckily we found some fish and chips. Look at that. Here we are. We have arrived at the only thing open today, the Aberdeen takeaway, and mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was. Delightful. Oh. Delightful. Delightful, Ian? Yeah. Yep. They, the, the scallops had been sitting in the heat of That's very close, Renato. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling threatened at all. Yep. I like it when you go to a, a fish and chip shop and they pull the thing out of the warmer that's been yeah, sitting yeah. there for God knows yeah, how long. Yeah. Anyway. And and heart attack amount of salt. Mm -hmm. Heart attack amount of salt. That's what that. I like it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. We're heading through. The glorious Aberdeen area. The clouds are beautiful. beautiful lovely skies. Lovely uh, soundscape. <laughs> Landscape. Beautiful skies. Lovely ranges out in the background. And look, there's the Aberdeen RSL. Yeah. Which is shut. Yeah. Well, the food part is shut. Yeah. We find out today that nothing is really open on Mondays. They've just given up because, yeah, obviously. That's, this is the place where I bought my fabulous table tip in table with all the inlay. Oh, yes, here. That's right. Guy that runs it's a bit eccentric. We're hoping it'll be open tomorrow. And the commercial hotel is right next door. But here we are. That's shut. Here we are. Sit and home. Sejinho Inn, 1837. It is very, very pretty. It's very pretty. It reminds us a bit of uh, Monte Cristo. It does. It's a miniature version. Hey guys, it's Anne and Renata, and we are here at the Sejinho Inn in Aberdeen. Yep. Which is just past Musselbrook. Uh, we are spending the night here. We gave ourselves uh, a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of you guys, your stars that you provided for us on Facebook and the super stickers you provided on YouTube have helped make this happen tonight. So we are really appreciative of you doing that. And of course, the reward is going to be get to go live with us. You do. And <laughs> we are the only people staying on the top floor. So... Yes, there will be hallway vigils. I know you love hallway vigils. <laughs> I know you love hallway vigils, yep. so you're going to get some. And we did ask for permission if we could do a little bit of yes. investigating, and they did say yes, and yes. that's fine. We're just going to stay out of the road of the other people that are staying downstairs. So we've got the whole top floor to wander around quietly by ourselves. But we're going to be using a new gadget tonight. I have got... This is exciting. It this is. is the first time I've actually heard it. Yeah. Now, uh, it's very similar to a gadget that mm. has been on sale from Osprotech for quite some time, but it is different. It is different. Yeah. So this is the SB11 ANC. So it's the, um, what's it, something about the noise cancellation. So it gets rid of a lot of the ch 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 and the voices come through much clearer. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite astounding. We mm -hmm. put it on for a test, and I said, my name's Anne, this is my friend Renata, and then somebody introduced themselves. What did they say their name was? I can't remember. It was Jack or something, like yeah. Jake or something. I went, yeah. oh, okay, <laughs> that came through really clearly. So I'm going to give that a crack. Yep. I've also brought with me what you must have for every hallway vigil. <laughs> must have. Yep. All right, the REM pod. So yep. I've got two of those. So I didn't want to travel too heavy with gear. Yeah. Yep. Um, got a couple of K2s just to do a sweep so that yep. we can make sure there's no electromagnetic fields interfering. And K2. 
can I pull? Another load of cat balls. <laughs> so we're going to flood the place with cat balls and see what happens. I'm now, I've, I've also bought the Ovilus. And oh, awesome. I've also bought a... Um, a uh, I keep dropping my balls, sorry. A we motion are. sensor camera. Oh, which so we'll the put on game um, camera. Yeah, the game camera, which we'll put on overnight, uh, overnight while we're sleeping. So we'll have it Lots actually. Of farts and yeah, we'll, port. we'll actually um, have it towards the door, so it's not constantly going on because we're turning over. Mm. Um, so yes. We'll so see. those who are watching on the live feed, we're going to kick off in at eight thirty p.m. So uh, that just gives us five minutes to get ourselves organised, uh, and yeah, yeah. Where do we want them to watch? Here, um, and it'll be on YouTube. Uh, I don't think Possibly. I can do that from my mobile phone. It's going to be okay. one or the other. It's going to be okay. YouTube. YouTube. All right. It's going to be live on YouTube, guys. So live head over YouTube. to Anne and Renata, um, Ghost Hunters, I think it's called. Anne and Renata, Ghost Hunters on YouTube. And uh, subscribe. Sign up. Put the bell on so you know when we go live. And this is the first of our road tripping um 12 months so we are actually hitting out and uh, asking for uh, the permission to go to particular inns and pubs all around New South Wales and maybe beyond stay overnight and do some recording so if you know someone who has a haunted hotel haunted inn haunted pub and uh, is willing to let us run amok overnight in it record and put it out live on YouTube please let us know Yep, love to do some collaborations with the old historical pubs that are around the place. Absolutely. Uh, whether there is ghosts there or not, the history is also fascinating. We'll tell yep. you a bit more about the history of this place once we go live. Yeah. So we better get ourselves organised. Okay. We'll see you soon. See you soon.